Hi everyone. In continuation with our lecture series on centroids, today we shall discuss about centroid of a sector of a circle. So here we will be finding out the location of centroid of a sector of circle. So we have got a sector of a circle and this is x and y axis which I have taken as a reference axis. The radius of sector is r while the center of the sector is o which is coinciding with the origin of x and y axis. We have taken a symmetrical sector friends. It means this angle, angle above the x axis and angle below the x axis are equal and they are equal to alpha. Therefore, overall angle of sector is 2 alpha. Now, if you observe it carefully, the x axis is dividing the entire sector into two equal parts. It means it is axis of symmetry for the sector. Therefore, the centroid will be lying on this axis of symmetry that is x-axis. So, you will be getting centroid on x-axis, something like this friends. This is the centroid of the sector and it is lying on the x-axis. So, since it is lying on the x-axis, the y coordinate of centroid is going to be 0. It will have some x coordinate and its y coordinate will be equal to 0 friends like this. Okay, so we need to only find out the x coordinate of centroid because the y coordinate is already 0 we have discussed. Okay. So, x bar we need to calculate. Now, the location of centroid will be given by the x coordinate of centroid and to calculate the x coordinate of centroid we should understand the procedure first. Okay. So, let me explain you what is the procedure to find x coordinate. So, suppose we have got some area. This is let's say some area we have got and let's say this is the axis we are referring it as vertical axis or y axis and this is the centroid of this area and its location will be this that is x bar with respect to given x. So in order to find the x bar that is x coordinate of centroid the procedure is very simple we take a small area that is infinite decimally small area of the section or the area like this so from overall area I am going to take a small area da and its distance from the given axis is x like this. So, we have a very simple expression to find x bar. So, x bar is given by integration of x times dA divided by integration of dA. That means friends, we take a very small area that is called infinite decimally small area from the given area. When you want to find the x coordinate of centroid of this area. So, out of this area, we take out a very small or infinite decimally small area dA and its distance from the vertical axis is x. So, we take x into dA and we integrate it and divide it by integration of dA. So, this is how we can easily find out the x coordinate of centroid of a given area. The same procedure I am going to follow here friends. First of all, I will have to find out the small area dA. So, let us first locate the small area dA. So, to locate a small area dA in this sector, I am going to take a small sector out of it and this sector has got a very small angle over here that is I am calling as d theta and it is situated at angle theta from the x axis. So, you can see here the angle of the sector is very small that is infinite decimally small and I am calling it as d theta while the position of the sector with respect to x axis is at angle theta. Okay. Now, since the radius of sector is r, so therefore the radius of the small sector is also r and the area of the sector I am considering dA. The overall area of this bigger sector is A for instance. So, this smaller sector will have a very small area dA that is called as infinite decimally small area. And this area we will assume that it is concentrated at a point which is the centroid of the small sector. Okay. So, this area is concentrated at this particular point. The length of the arc of small sector is ds. Now, we got the dimension of this sector friends angle of sector is d theta, the area is dA and its base or the length of the arc is ds. The location of area dA with respect to the vertical axis that is y axis will be given by the x coordinate of the point we have considered. So, this is the x coordinate of this small area dA. Mind it, this small point represents the area of the small sector that is dA. Now, we have got x friends over here. We have got dA, so we can find out the x bar that is coordinate of centroid of this big sector. Okay, so let us see how we can proceed. So, the x coordinate of centroid is given as 
and already I have given you the expression friends that is x bar equal to integration of x into dA divided by integration of dA. dA is the area of the small sector we have considered. So this dA we need to calculate. If you consider this sector friends, it appears like a triangle because this c theta is very small. So this ds is also going to be very small. So since it is very small, it appears like a straight line. So you can say this sector is a triangle. So if you see here, this is the sector I have drawn. So this is ds friends and this length is r and here is the centroid c. Here is the centroid at which the area d is setting we are assuming. So as we know that the location of centroid of triangle from tip is 2 by 3 times the height. So here height is r, so 2 by 3 r friends. This distance is 2 by 3 r, okay. And here this distance from base, this distance is 1 by 3 times height that is radius over here. So this already we know from basic, basic understanding of geometry that is the distance of the centroid of triangle from tip is 2 r by 3. So this distance from here to here this distance is going to be 2 r by 3. We can show it here itself. This is going to be 2 r by 3. Now, and the base, the length of the arc, which represents the base of the triangle or the sector is ds, which can be given by simple geometry as ds equal to r times, the, this angle is d theta and this radius is r friend, so it is r times d theta. So now we have got the length of the base the base of the sector or base of the triangle which represents the sector friends here this is ds and the height is r so area of the sector i can write down here area of small sector that is da because we are considering this as a triangle so it is half times base times height so it is going to be half the base is ds friends and height is r but already we have got the value of ds as r times d theta so i'll substitute that so I'll be getting dA equal to half and ds is r d theta times r and finally if I simplify I'll get the area of the sector small sector will be half r square d theta. This is very important outcome. So, so friends we got the dA. So this dA part which we wanted to find this we have got friends. Okay. Now I need to find the x. So to find the value of x here this is the value of x friends if you can see. This is the value of x. To find the value of x, I am going to consider this triangle that is this is x and this distance is 2r by 3. So it is something like this friends. So I have drawn this triangle we can say that so this distance is x. If you see here, this is going to be x friends. This is angle is this angle we have taken as theta. So this angle will be theta friends and this length is 2r by 3. So by and this this is 90 degrees. So by simple geometry we can say x equal to 2r by 3 cos theta. So this is the value of x we got friends. So we got the value of x as 2r by 3 cos theta. So value of x friends we got here. This x we got friends. Okay. Now we are having x as 2r by 3 cos theta and we are having d as 1 upon 2r square d theta. So just by following simple geometry we are able to get the value of x and d a. Mind it, we want all these values in terms of theta. That is why I have done all this simplification. So if you now continue from here, let me substitute the values. So I'll be getting x bar as integration of x is 2r by 3 cos theta. This is the value of x and dA is friend. You can see here dA is 1 upon 2r square d theta. Now in denominator, we can put the value of dA. So dA is again we have friends half r square d theta. Now if you look at the diagram here, this small sector if you take from this point to this point anywhere you take the value of radius is going to be same. So the radius is constant throughout. So radius is constant. So radius in the numerator and the radius in denominator can be cancelled out. 1 upon 2 is also constant. It can be cancelled out friend. So if you look at here, this 2r by 3 is a constant. It will come out of the integration and the inside you will have cos theta d theta in the numerator. In the denominator, we will have integration of only d theta. So let me write down the values friends. So we will get x bar that is x coordinate of centroid. So here you will take 2r by 3 outside and then integration of cos theta d theta. In denominator, you will have only d theta. So integration of d theta. So if you look at this sector friends, we are going to start from this line and we are going to move further. Okay. 
this sector will be starting from here and it is going to continue up to this point. So this angle theta is a variable here. So theta will be starting from here till here we can say. So we will have to put the limit of theta. So limit of theta will be for this particular line. The angle is alpha but it is below the x axis so it is minus alpha friends. And for this line angle is alpha and it is above the axis that is plus alpha. So the limits will be minus alpha to plus alpha I have to put here. So here also minus alpha to plus alpha limits are going to come. Okay. So let's integrate this and see what we get. So if you integrate this friends you will be getting. So now you will be getting 2r by 3 outside and for upper integration part this one the integration of cos theta is going to be sin theta limit is minus alpha to plus alpha and for denominator friends the integration of d theta is going to be theta and the limit is again minus alpha to plus alpha so we have to simplify this friends the outside we are having 2 r by 3 it will be as it is and inside we are going to put alpha for theta so it will be 2 r by 3 as it is and here you'll be having friends sin alpha minus of sin minus alpha the lower limit is minus alpha friends and denominator will be having at the place of theta we'll be putting alpha so alpha minus of minus alpha like that so therefore we will get the value of x bar as if you see here sin alpha minus of minus sin alpha will become plus so sin alpha plus sin alpha is going to be 2 sin alpha and alpha plus alpha is going to 2 alpha. So I'll write down that also friends. So 2 r by 3 into 2 sin alpha divided by 2 alpha. So 2 is there in common factor. We can eliminate 2. So from here the final outcome of x bar you will be getting as friends. 2 r sin alpha divided by 3 alpha. So this is the final expression of the x coordinate of centroid of this sector. By using simple procedure as I have shown over here, we can easily find out the coordinate of centroid for the given sector. So here the centroid will have x coordinate as what? 2 sin alpha by 3 alpha and already we have discussed y coordinate is 0. So we can easily find the location of centroid of a sector. Thank you very much.